you've been waiting for. He married an 80-some-odd-year-old woman named Martha Ray. Yes, admittedly bisexual, and he looks every bit of it today. Here's a guy who made love to Martha Ray on the wedding night. Mark Harris with his own song parody. Never heard before on these airwaves. California, Stern is on. Go ahead, Mark. California, Stern is on. <laughs> on the station, have more on. L.A. on radio. Such a broadcast. You listen. And wonder what he'll say next. Because he's our word, Stern, and really great. Wake up, early. Don't be late. Well, there you have it. Mark will be in in a second. I just wanted to take care of some business. It's sort of like turning into Homo Thursday because you got Mark here and then George Takei is going to call in the Mr. Sulu who just announced that he is gay. We're bookended in gay people. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's funny. We did the barbershop poll. Calling uh, black barbershops is the best. You've seen the movie Barbershop. But we called the real black barbershops and we asked them what they thought of Mr. Sulu, George Takei, coming out of the closet, the guy who played Mr. Sulu on Star Trek. Right, and what is the consensus? They were not happy about it. <laughs> George Takei plays Sulu on Star Trek. He's recently come out of the closet and admitted that he's gay. What's your opinion on that? He looked like he was a queer back then. Bad enough he's from a, another country and he's a queer too, and coming over here being a queer? That boy got some problems. He's a homo. He should never act again. That's great for him. Hey, if Zulu's a fag, let him be a fag, man. Great. Do your thing. If Zulu like the bat, do your thing and take the bat, baby. That's heavy for me because I love Star Trek. Now, Lee, don't, don't, don't take away my vision of Star Trek. I don't want to hear your personal business. I just want to know that you're Zulu, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there, was no, there was no gayness on Star Trek. I'm not surprised. He looked like he was he traveled on the other side. He's a homo. He knew Shula was gay. His eyebrows just seem a little too manicured. We knew you was gay, Shula. Where the hell was you 20 years ago when you was wearing a tight-ass outfit? Good for him. Flame on. Flame on, my brother. Flame on. All right, so we got a homo Thursday going. <laughs> nice. It's Homo Thursday <laughs> on the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> Macho man, macho macho man, yeah, macho man. I got to be a macho. Oh. is gay. Oh. is gay. is gay. is gay. Hello. Well, hello. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. But good. I want to talk with you about sausage. About what? I'm so sorry. Who is this? Hi. My name is Marilyn. Marilyn. Yes. I want to talk to Richard. Richard is not here. I love Richard's rum balls. <laughs> Richard's not here right now. You want me to have him to call you? Yes, because I've hopped on hundreds of sausage, and Richard was giant at seven inches and over 500 pounds. <laughs> Who in the hell is this, anyway? My name is Marilyn. Uh, what Richard are you talking about? Richard was swollen. He sat on the sausage with me and told the audience, I know how tough it is to milk my rum balls. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I know what it's like to be swollen and hard, Richard. Richard is not here. I told you. Oh, my God. I don't want you to call me anymore, okay? Well, that's your problem. It is my problem, damn it, if you keep calling me. My nuts, they get a little numb sometimes, and I get this tingling. You sound like you're a bag. My goodness. I'm getting angry. Guess I'll just have to play with your nuts. You're not going to play with <laughs> You're going to be in jail. I'll call back in an hour. Quit calling here. Richard, please help me milk my pickle. 
Hello? Please don't hang up the phone again. Well, I'm going to hang up, you queer. I'm hanging up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You know, there seems to be some perception out there that you can be locked up for being gay. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where that happens. When she goes, it sounds like you're a fag. There should be a big bingo sound. <laughs> bingo! All right, Mark, Mark Harris has been a longtime guest on this show. He is a man who first came to our attention when he married like a 90-year-old woman. We were aware that he was gay. We don't think the 90-year-old woman knew what she was doing, but he inherited all her money. And he denied being gay, even though that's... It was an impossibility that he was anything else. Right. <laughs> but that's how we first met Mark Harris. And uh, he has managed to become part of our show. Some people thought he was an opportunist, uh, taking advantage of Martha Ray. Others thought that he was a... Caretaker. A caretaker, a friend in need. A friend for a friend in need. Yes. Hello, Mark. Morgan Howard. Morgan alles Leute. Und alles Gute? All right. Time for you to leave already. No, the thing is, they take you off on Tuesday. I'm scheduled Tuesday. I'm afraid to speak in English. They'll take me off now. Yeah, Mark was uh, scheduled oh, really? when we got suspended. And I have a feeling we weren't suspended for talking about it. Uh, we were suspended because we're having Mark on it. I believe you. I believe that. Taking the airwaves again. How could they take me off on Tuesday? Now that Mark is here, let's remember one of Mark's finest moments on the show when he called Vinny taking his gay bath. <laughs> oh, massage, massage. Oh, certainly, oh, certainly, certainly you're not alone in this. Mm, no. no. What was the name of the gentleman you were in the tub with? Boris. Boris. <laughs> oh, I could remember. I know anything with you. <laughs> I mean, besides now, it's turn. He's dying to see this. He's only heard about it. What is he dying to see? Well, what he's heard on radio for ten and a half years, my lavish life in the buttermilk bath. Boris. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Also oh. the bathtub. The general was oh. the word my <laughs> way up. From uh, here, oh. up. <laughs> you okay, Artie? Oh, oh is Artie here? Oh, hi, Artie. Oh, hi, love no boy. How are you? You want to take a bath? <laughs> and the knee. <laughs> love the knee. It's important. Love the knee. Love the knee. But then I work my way further up. No, it's rather down, but I think it's up. To love here. the knee. You love the knee. And, um... Oh, forget the knee. <laughs> You are very gay. Jeez. Very gay. Yeah. How's your Butter douche guy? Excuse me, Adder. All right, Mark. That's a bad idea. Take it again. Do it again. All right. There's only so much we can take. Only so much. Oh. Only so much of that we can take. It's you and Barra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's Homo Thursday. <laughs> on the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> Well, Mark, you came to our attention. I'm, 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 this is your last appearance here on this. Yeah, uh, and I wish you much luck. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. We, uh, we're very excited about our move. But um, we, we first met Mark when he was, of course, uh, Mr. Martha Ray. Mr. Martha Ray. February 92. Yeah. And, you know, and back then when I first heard that you married Martha yeah. Ray, I felt, wow, here is a, a gay gentleman, bisexual, whatever. Whatever. Um, marrying a woman... Who is very old, very decrepit. Looking back, who, she wasn't that old. I mean, we're getting old. She now. was in a wheelchair. She was what are you very confused. About she wasn't that old. Seventy-four. No, I'm not that old. <laughs> okay, but she was in a really bad state. And you stepped in, and uh, as you said, you took care of her, and and you did inheriting all her money. And back then, I thought, let me just say, okay. well, most of it. Okay. And back then, I thought, well, maybe you're just, you know, the creepiest guy in the world who would take her money and uh, do this. And I want to say now today, I think I still feel that way. You know, yeah, yeah, funny, yeah, yeah. what you're forgetting <laughs> is that while Martha was alive, he would throw these parties. Yes, they're beautiful parties. But for her benefit, and come on. And sit her in the middle of them. You know, Mark is so she held court. Gary said, I'm out there talking to Mark. And he says, Mark is, the, you know Mark's gay because he only knows about stuff that only a gay man would know. Like Susan Haywood. Well, they, Gary said to Mark, what are you doing in New York? And Mark said, well, I'm here. To see Kitty Carlisle Hart perform. Oh, gee. She's 95 years old, and she does a show. Now, no straight guy would know that Kitty Absolute, Carlisle Hart... And who, would, who would care? Excuse me, a friend of mine and his wife, uh, they're taking me... Uh, the guy must be 80 years old. Kitty no, Carlisle no, Hart no. was like... She's 95 now. 
Can, can I ask you a question? Because sure. this is our speculation. Yeah, go ahead. You're hanging around with her, hoping to marry her, because she's a very wealthy woman. Yeah, are you? Are you it's my friend's wife's birthday. But you're hoping that she'll fall in love with you, get senile, and you'll take her money. I don't want her to be senile. I want to no. be old with it. It's the details that Mark knows that are gay. He'll what? go like, go to the see details. Kitty Carlisle Hart. You know, she does a tribute to her late husband, Moth Hart. <laughs> <laughs> the famous composer. The playwright. The playwright. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Do you, would you marry Kitty Carlisle Hart? In a heartbeat. Would you? In a heartbeat. Honestly, absolutely. Her heart will cease happening. <laughs> God, <that's laughs> I did. God forbid. She could overlive me. Here, modern Eddie, medicine. Have this cup of coffee with some antifreeze laced into it. Oh, there's that the voice. The coroner will never detect. Where does that voice come from? Why are you in My town? Bowels. Honestly. Je really, yeah. to wish you all Thank the you. best of luck. Thank you. And Avi Dezan, that only means till I see you again. Well, let some of your fans say goodbye Dezan to you. Avi means I will fleece your mother. <laughs> let some of your fans, you've been here over the years, you've always come on. Let, let, you, let some of your fans say goodbye to you. Dud, go ahead, you're on the air. Dud. Hey Howard, you were right on uh, when you said uh, get the heck off the uh, the air when uh, Mark came on the first time. <laughs> and that is a dud. I'll tell you, uh, George should be on right now. Get him off the air, the queer bastard. I can't stand him. I, to I think George should be on you, not on the air. All right. Clearly, that was not the call you were waiting. Oh, for. I don't the care. I take all calls. Captain Jenks, you're on the air. Hey, good morning. Hey, Mark, I got a favor. Would you do me a favor? It depends. What's your favor? Would you do me a favor and die? Uh, after you and your mother. <laughs> oh, my. Sure. You freakazoid? All right, thank you. Freakazoid. Is it's that his last name? How did it go? Last time you were here, you were performing at a beach. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, because it was a very big turnout, thanks to you, and Joey's out there, and she would like to thank you for the plug. By it's the way, great. I, I saw tape of it. It looked like there were three people. I didn't even see tape of it. No, I there saw were a lot of people. I, they I were really at were. the beach, Mark. We talked about, we're talking no, about No, no, I'm talking about the boardwalk. You. No, there were and a lot Mark of people. was singing a song. <laughs> At the beach, and I'm telling you, four people were standing there. Yeah, yeah, I felt bad for you. Over radio, they believe that. It's no, true. it was a very big turnout. I'll put the film true. on on demand if you want. I'll we put it on the internet. Put it on the internet. It's Call four Joey people. Out. Yeah, we saw the film. It's empty. And people will believe it. Okay. Do you mind if I put that film on the internet? This song is for Ask the Joey. Song. I guess it's our film. I never well, it's saw our it. film, actually. I we never videotaped saw it. it. Well, good. No. 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 Well, did you uh, videotape it before I got there? No, while you no. were performing. There were four people in no. the audience. Then uh, you didn't see the boardwalk. They were all lined up. <laughs> yeah, maybe there was something for sale. Uh, they were lined up. <laughs> no, nothing for sale. <laughs> How do you know they weren't leaving? Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were standing think... around. Wait, even back. gave a I few autographs. I think they were in line for, yeah, the hot no, dog. No. Well, go ahead, Gary. <laughs> I love you, buddy. But, but there, and, and we didn't shoot it. A guy who yeah. was a fan of the show happened to be walking on the boardwalk with his wife. Right. And he had the video camera out, and he shot it. It, had, it was one of those, like, you know, the town sends a big uh, stage. Yes. There were, like, really, like, three or four people. Right. And then the guy at one point wheels around to show the boardwalk <laughs> and just sort of give it. I mean. Just, well, can Joey supply you some of the video she sure. has? Uh, sure. Yeah, I got to see that. Okay, you got to see that. You get George Lucas to put people in it? Yeah, what's she painting? Right, they CGI'd people. <laughs> CGI'd at a green screen. Not at all. All right, but listen, you're trying your best. You got anything going Always. on career-wise? You got anything in the hopper? Well, I did have a meeting. Go ahead. Uh -oh. With one of the suits. Of? At? At Clear Channel. Go ahead. I mean, uh, if it's going to happen, he's going to crunch the numbers, quote, unquote. And I'll what go, numbers? <laughs> crunch well, the like numbers? What numbers? Like salary. What, what do you mean to do what? A radio program? Yeah, three or and a half hours. A three, a three and a half hour radio program right. for yeah. Clear Channel? <laughs> Why three and a $10,000, but not a penny more. Ask Mark what time the radio show would potentially air. 1 a.m. to 4.30. <laughs> I don't even believe that. Graveyard shift. Like everything else Mark says... I don't believe I, a Clear Channel is a whacked out company, but I don't believe they're giving yeah, Mark a radio this. show. This well, it's possible. It's, it's possible, but it's not going to happen. What kind of numbers are they crunching? Again? All right, all well, right. He's got a card for you. A guy from Clear Channel. I believe yeah, it was a good meeting, you know, and uh, then Man Cow goes on at 4:30, so I'd sign off to him. Sign off to Man Cow. <laughs> yeah, I go one to 4:30. One, two, punch. And then 4.30, man count. Wow. He made... Oh, you're a hell of a lead-in. That's well, well, is a row. good lead-in, right? Yeah. I've done my best. Good. Now you do yours. <laughs> Your best couldn't even do bending so, over. So when you say that you um, you discussed a numbers crunching, you have to pay them $10,000? Uh, yeah, I would have to pay them. Exactly. They have a lien on my house. Okay, 12000 That's as high as I go. Mega mouth in the morning, Mark Harris. <laughs> Vinny hey, Mark, Vinny. Hey, Vinny. I love this guy, Howard. 
I know you do. We yeah. don't give out the secrets, though. Howard, do you remember how you sipped him on me about, like, five years ago? Yeah, I, you know, as long as we're taking a walk down memory lane, uh, yeah. Do you tell the story, Vin? It's the funniest thing. It's like, I, I was there one day, I think the show was over, and you were like, hey, you know, Mark, you know, talk to Vinny. He works with CBS. He can help you. Mark was bugging me about 50 different ideas he had for right. shows and stuff. Just right. like just like I, he's doing with Clear Channel now. So I, I as a goof, I go over to I go, Mark, Vinny's the vice president of <laughs> CBS programming late night. And Mark's eyes lit up. <laughs> right, they were swirling. Oh, yeah. And Howard, I said, archives that I have of Mark Harris, you have no idea. You can I have a whole idea. on demand um, you know, channel with the video that he sent along. Yeah, what is really? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have you know what? On my on demand channel I gotta just take all of Mark's videos Mark and put them Harris on. video. I have wow. yeah. I have like five pilots for five different shows. Oh, wonderful. You know what pilot was my favorite when he wrote that play? Wait, what about Tasty Travels at the Food Network? That's is another showing one. now. That's okay, another I one. never saw Tasty Travels. I've, I've seen them all. heard about it. They're great. Yeah, yeah. great pilots. Yeah. I have one pilot where he just shows up at people's houses, and then one he takes. I have video of a buttermilk bath with him and uh, and Boris. Boris. <laughs> video. <laughs> Well, we'll air it as soon as we crunch them. I, I got news for you. You did air it on the E Show. Well, Mark's about to become an exclusive property of Clear Channel any day now. Oh, Clear. Channel. Oh, Mark, you did that deal. Clear Channel. Clear Channel. Oh, okay. We're renaming in honor of myself. Clear Channel. Yeah. Now, now, if I get the show, no, no. Uh, if I get the show, I want to see the logo. Uh, can I interview you? Absolutely, I would come on that show. See that? <laughs> I'd come on the I show. I would have missed that for a minute. Good. And you, Robin? Oh, absolutely. Oh, great. Yes, Mark. That's, who's that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, on. Artie. I'll come on. Artie, I'd want you. How person. about a, uh, a song for your final farewell here today? You uh, have written so many songs. Where is well, that music going? How about I'm Just a Gigolo? Would I you mean, like to do that? About, yeah, about, I have... How do you keep the music playing? No, no. Let's uh, just, uh, you know why I say I'm Just a Gigolo? Howard's replacement, but I don't know if he's going to be able to talk, is David Lee Roth. So that's the only thing we have in common. Yeah, I can talk about that. Hey, um... Uh, Gary, give me the song, the sound bed I, I passed on to you this morning for Mark. Well, in the green room, I just brought I'm Just a Gigolo, if you want that, track six. He's the king of special lyrics, Howard. Uh, we know. With my arranger, Leo DeLion. Leo DeLion. Let's hear it for Leo DeLion. Do you want to do Just a g <laughs> Yeah, do Didn't Just a Gigolo. Email jiggle. you something? Yes, and it's uh, underneath that piece of paper. There. Underneath the piece of paper. I'm just the queer, you know. <laughs> yeah, we all know. <laughs> You're about, we're out of the norm. What is this song? I feel a song coming on. No, I don't oh, that's, that. that's one of his biggest songs. No. I'll give you the soundtrack. You do it. I don't even remember it. Mark, this is Bring the one, you know, six. I feel a song coming on. I feel a homo coming on. Here we well, go. then get off him. <laughs> One last time. long lead-in. All right. On, One Harris. last time for Mark Harris. Well, at least you hear some music. You hear some rhythm, some beats. You don't get that anymore with a new crop. Thank you. I wonder if radio's well. going to be playing music anymore. Come on, Mark. Come on. I will. To Mark Harris. got to listen to the leader. Now, this is a Leo DeLion arrangement. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there we go. Mark. She's gearing Here we up. go. Getting ready. <laughs> Coming on, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm wanting ya. Yeah, it's a victorious, oh, you a happy and glorious new frame. I <laughs> feel a song coming on. It makes me happy. It's a melody full of laughter, like children out after the rain. Yeah. You'll hear a tuneful story ringing through ya, love and glory, hallelujah and now. Now your troubles are gone. Give me a reach around here, come on. Let the memory keep on the flavor. Artie just hung himself. Keep on the music along. Nice, Mark Harris. One Thank last you. Time. Bring it home, Mark.
Fox. Not bring it home. Where's the vocal exercises? That was the best we did. We may go home. <laughs> Excellent. Go home. Mark Harris, thank you for all the years oh, of entertainment. Yeah. Thank you for all the years. And I hope you come see us in our new home. But I thank will. you for always being here with us. Good luck okay. with your new show on Clear Channel. Can you bring that's Joey right. in? She wants to thank you. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. She can take me off the air. After the beat. After the beat. Um, what Mark, is she thanking you for? She wants to thank me for for announcing Mark's the four appearance. People? And she wore a nice outfit for you. And there were four people there. <laughs> Why would she thank me for I that? I don't know. It did absolutely no good announcing Mark. Joey, Harris. you'll have to give him the footage that you have. All right. We'll be back right after these words. Check out Mark at aka markharris.com. AKA. And send me your cell numbers. We're going to do calling all cells on the radio oh, show. God. On the radio. Another project that's never going to come Let's to hope. It's Clear Channel. Let's hope. It's not going to happen, Mark. And if it does, you Mark, will you will definitely I will come, come over. On, but, you'll come on, whatever. But they were, I don't think Clear Channel's looking for me on any of their properties. Really? But, they no? Yeah, they, As they, Don Martin, he's a fan of yours. Well, he, he's the GM. They're all fans over there of mine, except they publicly cowered and, and bowed to the FCC and threw me off. But their day of reckoning will come. That's the kind of interview we got to have. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, look, I've had enough. <laughs> Wait, well, some people are very happy it's Mark's final appearance. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> there are some people take another caller. Go ahead, Not take another bye. caller. All right, <laughs> Alice, go ahead. You're the final caller, a.k.a. MarkHarris.com. Go ahead. Hi, this is Alice calling from Washington, D.C. I've been listening to Stern for 15 years. Mark is by far my favorite guest ever. How is that possible? Oh. Wait. Mark, my heart is breaking. Don't do this to me. Keep Stern on because I need you. How, oh, uh, how is it possible? What is it about Mark that you would like? What oh. isn't it? He's got everything. He's funny. He's clever. He sings. He dances. He's got it all. I love him. Wow. Now, I didn't pay her to make that call. No. Oh, who He's knows? Amazing. What Are you available? Day. I'd like to get married again. I'll get married this afternoon. I'll be in New York. She has oh, no boy. penis. <laughs> I don't need a penis. Oh, yes. I, have I, wait for, I have enough for you and me. I wait for Mark to be on the show. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you, Alice. Going out on a high much. note for Mark Harris. That's a high note. Yeah. A.K.A. Mark Harris. E com. Yeah. A woman called from Creedmoor. I know. No. She must be a turn. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> and you are listening.